Greetings, everybody. <clears throat> Another lecture here. Very, really important. Um, and I hope it opens up the perspective of those who have a lot of confirmation biases. Because, you know, a lot of people tend to have those. And <clears throat> what I want to do is bring some clarity and also some understanding through illustration here on how narcissists are when they are able to convince someone of a certain um, feeling, emotion, whatever. The, the thing that caught a lot of you up when you were with the narcissist. Okay, believing in them when you saw something, when they were lying to you, crying to you, and it looked so convincing. It seemed like there's no way they could be faking. There's no way they could be lying to you because they professed how much they love you and all these things and so forth and so on. And in the end, you found out, yeah, it was all lies. You didn't know it because you didn't really believe or think that someone would go to the lengths and the extent of putting on such an act just to manipulate and control someone else. You know, you know, you just don't think that someone would go through such lengths to deceive, manipulate and control. Ultimately, really what it's about is having power over the individual and controlling them, getting their way. Right. You don't think about this. You, you write it off. You're like, oh, no, nah, I doubt they would go to that extent. So if they're doing this, they're probably serious. They're probably really mean it. And it's going to be perceived as believable. But that's not always the case. That's truly not always the case. Right. So right now, I want to direct if you're listening, I want to direct your attention to watch or look at your device or your screen or whatever. I want you to look at this example of a narcissist getting caught in the act. You're going to you're going to you're going to watch textbook narcissistic behavior. Their art of manipulating. OK, let me give you a little a little premises of this. This is basically. Looks like a young man looking, trying to leave this woman. She's trying to hold on to him and she's uh, starting to cry. And she's not wanting to let go. OK. And obviously he's found out that there's something that he needs to get away from this individual. And he's trying to go. All right. So I want you to look at it. Before you pass judgment, I want you to watch it all the way through, because in the end, she's going to reveal something very important for those of you, like I said, that have a lot of confirmation biases about it being one way, especially fellas. This is for y'all to pay attention to. This is for y'all to really pay attention to. And then after you watch the video, we're going to come back on the other side and we're going to break that down. All I'm trying to do is go out the door. Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door, get away from the situation, and make things better for me. But um, I can't seem to uh, go. So when the police get here, you will see. Because I'm going to have to remove her from me physically. I'm trying to be polite and just walk out and, and, and have a great day. But um, she won't get off me. Can you please get off me? I'm asking her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit down. Can you please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you please bro. get off of Gary, me? Gary, please don't put your hands on I'm, I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please. This. Please, You see this, right? Gary, 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 you see this? Please, I'm trying to go. Please. I'm trying to go. Please. Look at me. Look at me. Look I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop, want nothing stop. from you. I want to be away from you. Gary, I want my freedom please. from you. I decided I'm going to display my acting skills. So take one. This is... This is what it's like to be. This is what it's like to be heartbroken. Okay. <laughs> you can't make it up. Um, I used to do this all the time to manipulate men, and it works like nine out of ten times. They feel guilty and like they didn't do anything wrong. So, and it. You see what she said? She learned how to cry 
and going to this act on a dime, on the drop of a dime. And what did she says? It works nine out of 10 times with men when you're trying to manipulate them. Why is that? Why do narcissists know to do this? Because it activates that that protection mode in a man. It activates that wanting to protect, not wanting to leave them uh, hurt. And, 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 you know, they're the damsel in distress. Let me cry. Let me show them the emotion that I'm I'm, I'm hurting. I'm, I'm don't do this to me, please. No. I'm sorry, I'll do whatever. It's all fake. This is what I try to get a lot of you to see when you deal with these narcissists. This is what I try to get a lot of you to understand when you encounter them, when you interact with them. Okay? This is how convincing they can be. And look how the face turned. She went from in distress, crying, until laughing and joking. This is the whole act. While when most of you were with the narcissist, this was the whole act. They were putting on an act. I hope you all can, can conceptualize this. When you were thinking they, 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 you thought they loved you, this... They, they know how to go into character the whole time. It's not just with crying. It's not just with crying. It's with the act of caring. It's with the act of the altruism, wanting to be of assistance, uh, looking out for your best interests. All of that's fake. It's a part of the act. It's a part of the act. And this woman this young woman has mastered it and only not only that she knows how to manipulate the temperament and the emotions of men she knows it very well what does that mean that means she's had plenty of practice doing this to to be able to say it works nine out of ten times you can't make this up. She hit y'all with that Kevin Samuels one time. And she's showing you. She's showing you. Listen, this this like cake work. I do this easily. This goes down. This works so easy. It's it's nothing. All I have to do is cry, show some emotions, really look convincing. And there you have it. Tables turn. Possession back in my court. He's going to buy it. He's going to believe that, oh, she, she really means it now. She was really trying to change. She's really sorry for what she's done. She's come to an understanding because she wouldn't have been breaking down so hard like that. The thought of me leaving had her so distraught and so messed up in the head. That she must really feel this and she must really intend on changing whatever it is that she was doing or whatever it is that he disliked from her. She must really mean uh, to change that. Listen, there are many layers of the game that come with these individuals. Because they know how once they pull you back in, put on the act to look like they have did a little bit of changing. You'll see a little bit of good behavior for a little while, maybe one to two weeks, and then they'll go right back into their old ways. And then this whole cycle starts all over again. It's like clockwork. And as long I want you guys to understand, as long as you're if you're buying into the illusion of what you see that's not consistent with with healthy behavior. If you see things that are consistent with toxic behavior, you better believe there's a whole lot more of it to come. This isn't a one time instance. This is a pattern. This is embedded behavior. 
You heard her. She said it works all the time. Nine, in a t nine out of ten times. She's had many of practices with this behavior to be convinced and to speak so confidently about it that it's going to work without a doubt. So this is what I'm saying. When narcissists target you out, they know their act, their game, and the way that they manipulate will capture most people nine out of ten times. That they're going to fall for the entire act on an average more than, more than not going with it. They're going to fall for it. And this is what gives them such ability to be so bold and confident into going a certain length. And they get off on that. You saw how she was laughing. They get off on their ability to be able to control you through manipulation as though you were a puppet. Because they know at that point, I'm not even being real with you. I'm not even being genuine and you're in love. You believe me. And I'm just playing with you. That's how powerful, that's how good they are over you. And that's how they see it. So yes, they think of you as a joke, an idiot, a fool. Because they're fooling you the whole time and you've yet to spot it out. I mentioned this a long time ago in regards, especially with women, when they tend to run to and jump to the side in the conclusion of jumping on sides for other women. Listen, that's dangerous. You can't speak for all women as though they're you, as though they have the same moral compass and principles and values as you. Because they all don't. And if you're backing just all women in general... You could be setting yourself up to be manipulated and played in that way, too. Because don't think it's only limited to one sex that they'll play. If they see you're a fool and you're a woman. And you're going to go for it and you're going to just buy into what they believe. They'll manipulate you, too, just as well. They'll play you, too, just as well. If you're going to buy the damsel in distress type of thing, too. And you're going to generalize and think that all of them are victims. You're going to be become a victim to one of them at some point yourself. We have to keep it very objective. And we have to look at it and put it into context and look at it from um, an unbiased. Point of view. We have to see it for what it is, but unbiased. Just off of the evidence. Being biased in this will, will get you, you're not really truly understanding. And I would question your true comprehension of it if that's the case. Yes, we know it goes both ways. It can be male or female. But what I'm really trying to drive home to you all is this being able to witness this. It's quite disturbing. Right. You're, you're watching, you're seeing. How narcissistic behavior plays out. And this was real. It's happening more and more. Because people, people aren't rebelling against and resisting and speaking out against this on a higher level. They're not going to their congressmen or the legislators and stuff like that and demanding accountability for that type of behavior. And because there's nothing uh, in the context of, 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 of the law in regards to it, you're going to keep seeing it. So it's up to you to be able to understand this. Spot it. 
No, when you see it the first time, it's it's not a one time incident. If someone can show you a certain distasteful behavior right off and don't care how they look, how they're going to be perceived, you better believe this is an this this is them. This is how they are. That's just what it is. Now, this guy, little does he know, he probably has no clue of what a narcissist is. He probably bought right into it for, for the longest. He probably knew that something was wrong. But the manipulation still got to him. A narcissist's bite is very powerful once they sink their teeth into you. Meaning once they get someone to uh, mentally and visually fall for the illusion. It's very powerful. It's hard to break. It causes all types of confusion and so forth within the person's mind. All right. Anyway, I just want to bring this to y'all. Hope this I hope this is something for y'all to take and really let it resonate. You know, and, and just think about this. This is happening more often than not. There's a lot of these individuals out there, male or female. Just something to think about. Anyway, y'all, make sure y'all hit that like, man. A lot of y'all, y'all, you're listening, and you, 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 I'll see so many viewers, and 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 very few hitting the like button. Only takes a second. If you're stuck around this time, don't be petty. Hit the like button. All right. It helps spread the, the, the video, gets gets it around, gets it circulated. It helps those who could possibly benefit from seeing it. Um, also, if you still need a one on one, if you're liking a, a one on one consultation, email me. I'll leave all that in the description box. Until next time, y'all take care. Have a good one. Talk soon.